Welcome back to YouTube. We have another again from in-depth tech reviews. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the top five Android apps for the month of September. But before starting, let me remind you that my Amazon affiliate and wallpaper links are in the description below. So without further ado, let's jump in. The first app I'm gonna show you today is called Notica Plus. This app will allow you to save links to your notifications shade area. So by this, you won't forget about them because they are always on front of you. So for example, let's say there is a YouTube video that you want to watch later. In this case, you have two options, either to save it to the watch later playlist inside the YouTube app. And in this case, you will most probably forget about the video because YouTube will never remind you to watch this video at any time. But the other option is to use Notica Plus by tapping the share button and then choose Notica Plus from the list. The app will create a notification for you. Once you swipe up, this notification will stay in your notification shade. So when it's time to watch the video, tap on the link and it will open right away. And this could be useful in a lot more scenarios. Let's say you have an Instagram post that you want to check later. You can do the exact same thing by tapping on share, choose Notica Plus, wait for a few seconds, swipe up, and here you have it. All the links you previously saved to your notifications will appear in the front page of the app. From here, you can swipe left to resend back again, or you can swipe right to delete any of them. When you tap and hold on the link, you will be able to share it or copy the URL. All the features I mentioned so far are totally free of a charge, but there are a couple of features only available for the Notica Plus version. Let me show you the first one. So let's say we're gonna share the same post again. Here you have the ability to pin the notification and also set a reminder. So for example, let's say you want to be reminded at 10.50, 10:47 p.m. to show you this and then i'm gonna swipe up and here you go we got the notification as per the schedule and it's a pinned notification so you won't be able to swipe it away however there is a remove button right here tapping on it will remove it just fine and also when you tap on a pinned notification it will be removed automatically the free version of the app is called notica on google play store and the paid version is called notica plus it will cost you about $2 to get the ability to pin and schedule notifications. However, the developer is promising even more features in the future. I'm also trying to get my hands on free promo codes from the developer, so stay tuned for that. And now it's time for today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by cdkeyoffers.com. It's an online digital store that sells original Windows 10 and the office keys in a very discounted price. Not only this, but you can use my special promo code ID20 to get extra 20% discount. As you see, you can get yourself a Windows 10 OEM key for $15.55, which is insanely cheap. Please check the links in the description below. And now let's get back to the review. The second app I have is called Notify Buddy. Who doesn't miss having an LED light for notifications? This app will allow you to create your own style LED-like animation and place it anywhere on the screen. And as you see, it looks gorgeous when it's placed around the front-facing camera. So let me show you how it works. The app contains four different tabs. The first one is called User. Here you will see the full list of apps you have installed on your device. So you can choose which one can use the feature by turning on the switch. Not only this, but when you go inside, you will be able to choose a different color for each app. Also, the shape of the LED light can be changed from here and you have plenty of options to choose from. The second tab is called System and here you can see all the system apps that you can allow to use the feature. The third one is called Active and here you can only see the active ones. And finally, we have settings. Under settings, you can adjust a lot of things. The first one is the LED animation time, or in other words, how long does it take to complete one blink? And this time can be adjusted in seconds. The less the time, the faster the animation. The second one is called blink interval, or how long does it take between each blink? You can also adjust a stop timer to stop the animation after a certain period of time. And the bigger the number, the more battery usage. The last one in this category is called Start Delay. And you can use this feature to make a time gap between receiving the notification and the actual LED blinking. And this number can be added in seconds. Another important one is called Burn-In Protection, which will slightly change the position of the LED light to avoid any burn-in issues with your AMOLED display over time. However, I turned off the switch to have my LED light always aligned around the camera, which looks better. And I don't care about getting burn-in issue in this area. But if you want to use your LED light in any other spot that doesn't require a perfect alignment, it's better to turn on the switch. You can activate the double tap to turn on screen 
You also have unlock device with fingerprint. If this switch is turned off, when you touch your fingerprint, the phone will not respond. So it's better to turn this one on. But the most important one I want to show you now is the position and the LED size. You can change the size by using this controller here and keep moving it until you put it in the spot you want to get to give to make it perfectly around the front facing camera as you see here it jumps uh, on its own so it's very hard so you might need some time to adjust your position you can also adjust the size by manually typing the number you can make it very small like this you can make it very big and I found 110 works perfectly well with the Pixel 5 front facing camera. There is one more issue that I have with this app and I wanted to share with you. If you got a notification and the LED light is active, when you touch the fingerprint once, it will not unlock your phone. However, you have to do it twice. The third app I have is called Real Good. This app can help you discover new movies and TV shows to watch by yourself or with friends and family. The app will first give you the option to choose what kind of services you are subscribed to. In my case, I have Netflix and Prime Videos and you can select whatever number of services you want. And when you scroll down, you will see all the free services available and it includes pretty much anything you can think of. Once you're happy with the choices, tap on done. And by this, every time you search for a movie or a TV show, you will get the results from all the services you have chosen. On the home page, it will show you the trending TV shows and movies in addition to a lot of other categories that will make your life much easier. But the best part here is the dedicated search. Let's say you don't have something in mind. First, you need to choose the movie genre. So I'm gonna choose action adventure. Then I'm gonna choose my sort to be the most popular. And then I'm gonna tap on filters. Here you can choose three different things. First, the rating of the movie. You can choose the minimum and the maximum ratings. That's based on IMDB results. Or you can choose the ratings of Real Good itself, the app itself. So let's say I'm gonna choose 70. And here you can choose the release year. 15 up till now and the tap on set here you got all the movies related to your search results from all the services here i have toby here i have netflix and so on and so forth and when you tap on any of the movies you get a lot of options the first one is the ability to add it to your wish list you can let the app know that you watched this movie and by this it will not be shown in your future searches you can rate the movie to let the app know what you like and what you don't like which will improve your recommendations in the future. You have the ability to watch the trailer. Here you have all the services that includes this movie, the related collections if you want to expand your search. Uh, people also watched Carousel. Here you can read more about the story of the movie and the cast crew. So it will give you a lot of extensive information into one place. Another important feature in this app is the ability to track TV shows. So for example, if you are interested in a specific series and you are waiting for the new season to be released, in this case, you can track it. Once the season is available, you will be notified, which will keep you on top of everything you like. To be able to track TV shows, you need to create a free account using Facebook, Google, Apple, or a normal email and password. This free account will also save your recommendations and keep track of your movies and TV shows. So every time you change your mobile, you don't have to do the whole thing from scratch. Last but not least, there is one more cool feature in the app called Search Party. This feature will allow you to invite friends using a special link, and once they use it to download and register for the app, they will appear in your friends list. Then the app will start recommending random movies and TV shows. If you like any of them, you can swipe to the right. If you don't like it, you can swipe left, which is a tender like experience. And once you get a match with at least one of your friends, it will show up right here. So you can organize a time to watch your matches together. The app will also give you a remote control for your smart TV. If you have one available in your network, it will show you this green button. Tapping on it will show you the list of smart TVs you have. So I'm gonna choose mine. And here you go, I have a full screen remote control. I tried it myself and it works perfectly fine. And for the first time, your TV might ask you if you want to allow the real good app to control your TV. Once you hit yes, it will work just fine. The remote control feature works with Roku, Fire, Android, and LG smart TVs. App number four is called Wall Fever. 
This app has a lot of cool wallpapers and most of them are inspired by Android 12 Material U. In the first page, you will get the featured wallpapers. You can add any one of them to your favorites, but in this case, you might need to create an account and sign in to save your preferences. You can use the search at the top or you can browse the wallpapers using uh, the categories and you will find plenty of them. And here are some of my favorite wallpapers that I got from this app. The last app I have is called Photo Meter. This app will use your mobile's ambient light sensor to measure the light intensity in your environment and the units can be in lux or food candle and you can swap between them. But it's not just a basic light meter. When you go to the tools tab, it will show you what's the optimal lighting condition for each purpose. So for example, if you have a reading room, the app will start measuring the lighting condition and tell you if the amount of light you have is good enough for reading or not. And it will let you know about the amount of light needed to get a perfect lighting condition for this purpose. It says here between 400 to 500 is perfect. If it's a 300 to 400, it will be good, but 300 or less, it will be bad. And it will show you a live reading so you can keep adjusting your light's intensity until you get the optimal condition. And these numbers are based on scientific studies to make sure you have a healthy, well-lit environment. And if you want to read more about this, go to the home tab and there is a knowledge base over here that will give you more information about things like how light affects your health and so on. The free version will give you access to eight different types that you can see right here. But when you pay for the pro version, you will get even more. Like the ability to calculate light for photography, greenhouse, measure the solar power, create a light map for your room, and a bunch of converters and light requirements calculation. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the top five Android apps I wanted to share with you this month. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. And if you came across any app that you think it should be included in the top list of Android apps, please let me know in the comments. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.